say I'm about to up the ante. You know what I'm yes. saying? Because oh. realistically, you know, and I like to say big up and respect to Professor X, X Clint. Because not only is because he passed recently, yeah, right. but also because he was not only a visionary, vainglorious visionary. He had an organization which is called the Black Watch Movement, which was a part of the strategy that w w helped us get from point A to point Z with the, the Black Watch Movement. That's something that I'm about to implore my strategy. It's something that we have in the past, and it's going to make take you know, like your uh, your uh, responsibility as an artist to the next level as well. It's going to say, "Well, damn, I can't just be rapping about it no more. Let me like." Let me go to a meeting, you know what I'm saying? Or let me let me involve myself in a way, or let me show up to something and do something with my hands. Or what can I do this way? You know, I'm about to up the ante on y'all, so we're going to have a new level. And it's important game. that motherfuckers like them do that, you know what I mean? Straight up. Niggas look at, looking at him and Dan Perez like, y'all are the, the top of the top, you know what I mean? Every day we're trying to get better, you know what I mean? We're trying to figure out ways not only to make our music, um, just more powerful, reaching more people, um, simplifying the concepts to actually walk in the walk, you know what I'm saying? So, like that, you got it on tape, you know what I mean? Every day is something like that, like, yo, I need to up to Annie on how I'm actually putting down shit for the benefit of my people, and and, and it don't ever stop, you know what I'm saying? By the time yeah. motherfucker come out with Let's Get Free, you'll be like, oh, y'all did y'all, oh, we did our job. That's how half of these motherfuckers be thinking, you know, yeah, but, but fuck that, man. There's we so much that, more man. to do, man. We ain't free yet. We ain't free yet, so yo. Therefore. Yo. We still out here fucked up, you know what I mean? I just got off the phone with my man. The lady, uh, last year, son got hung in Georgia, you know what I mean? And want to know if we can raise a platform about that when we go out to Atlanta. Of course we can. It's our fucking obligation, you know what I'm saying? A nigga got hung, 14-year-old young man gets hung in Georgia in 2005, you know what I'm saying? And that shit ain't even make motherfucking national news, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this shit is crazy. And we out here talking about... Shit is better, you know. It ain't better, man. Shit is the same as fucking before. Man. It's worse. Shit is worse than it was before. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I can say that is because we are we not only are we inflicted with more uh, behind the chemical warfare and the imposed drug drug economy is bigger than it ever was. The prison economy or the industrial prison com prison complex is bigger than it ever was. I mean, since you know, 50s, it's, it's been growing. Our who we are and our economic uh, uh, ability to 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 um, become stronger and our community-wise is is weakened more than ever. And on top of all that, we are doing less and ignorant than ever. There's not even a movement to to uh, expose all the contradictions. So we in a we in a fucked up situation. It's really worse than it's ever been before. But don't it look so beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you gotta But realize. don't it look so good? It never looks so good. Shit is way bigger than how I look, you know what I mean? Like, Oppression like, never felt so good in my life. Word up, made back. I never seen such uh, such happy slaves. I never seen such happy slaves in my life. Boy, that, man. We about, about to, to dance shit. on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> about to chomp down on y'all. So you guys going out to Africa soon, is that right? Uh, yeah. yeah. You uh, go to, uh, July. July. What, what's going on out there? Is that music? Uh, we're going to do music, but we're going to get—we're gonna be students. Yeah, we're okay. students. Actually, it's a uh, respect to John Henry Clark. Uh, Dr. John Dr. Henry Clark. Is his Say it loud. I say. I say. I say to the ancestors. It's I'm his, walking with the ancestors. We wrapping his legacy, you know, basically. Say God to Dia. Through the support. Feel that. <laughs> through the support of, uh, oh, uh, from Mega Evers. Yeah. Um, uh, Clinton Crawford, yeah. Dr. Clinton Crawford to Clinton Mega Evers. Um, they basically want to take uh, the look at generational gaps between our generation and the older generation, the, 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 legacy, the, the legacy leavers and um, the people that actually got to pick up that torch. Um, draw the bridge, make it closer, and also uh, use the symbolism of hip hop um, as a torch to talk about family and 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 and, the, and different constructive things that we need to embrace in our community. Um, it's a lot deeper than that too, but from our 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 standpoint, that's what we're gonna be most focusing on. And like M said, we we students too. We gonna be out there learning a lot. I'm gonna go sit in the pyramid. I'm gonna go learn everything. I'm gonna soak it up. I'm gonna smoke a fat one in the pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what are your ultimate goals in life? Oh, get free. It don't stop, man. It's really, I just want to be, be happy and live a long time, 
free, as free for as long time free as possible, liberated. Yeah, man. I want to have autonomy in my life, and I want to also make a lot of money. Um, and it's important to me, like for real. I want to make money like like Jay Z made money. You know what I mean? And I'm saying that. Um, I've been saying that more and more out loud so I can make it a reality because it's important to me. Not only that I make the, the proper money that I deserve and my people deserve, that, but I, I'll become an example to show motherfuckers how to spend money. You know what I mean? Because niggas don't know how to spend money. You know what I mean? And we, we take $20,000 and we go see the whole motherfucking U.S. on tour. You know what I mean? With 20 G's. Ain't nobody doing that. You know what I mean? We know how to stretch a dollar and make it worth, you know, something in the future. And I, and I want to be able to, you know, put myself on a pedestal where I can do that, you know. So look out for your boy to be on um, that Forbes shit and all that. Like, yeah, I'm going to be on. Yeah. And then after he be on it, I'm burning it down. <laughs> as soon as he got the day after that, say good. Oh, your pasta, bitch. Your pasta, bitch. Your pasta. Well, guys, where would you send your kids to school? Uh, at home. home. <laughs> in my house. In my house. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Homeschooling. Well, whatever school we can create at yeah. that point. You know, the RBG fucking university at yeah. that point. You know? sure, sure. Yeah, building for that. And respect to all independent and charter schools who are yeah, African centered yeah. and revolutionary minded. There are those there. It's a growing movement in the yeah. U.S. And hey, maybe I move into a community where I, where it can happen that way. My partner Stickman has found such a uh, community in Atlanta. And I would like to, you know, as, as, as I get youths that are, you know, going to school A's in that way, hopefully I'm around that community. Okay. Yeah. You guys, um, you looking forward to going over to the UK? Of course. Love again and again and again. We always out there. I don't know if y'all know me and him. We out there more than just dead friends. Shout to Birmingham, Leeds, Liverpool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We be out there. All the spots. We out there, but we out there um, like like Europe ain't never seen it. You know what I mean? We fucking coming out there with a purpose, man. Ain't just out there to be rapping and shit like. You know, we gonna make we gonna make some pop over there. You know, Greece, all that. Yeah, you guys also going to Greece. Are you aware of an active member out there? Yeah. And the low back organization. Yeah. The, you said I'm aware of what in Greece? Um, the the active member is a group out there, and there's an, a movement, an organization called low back. Oh, I have no idea. Okay, we, we, we're gonna have a look at that before you get over there, cause they're on some big things. No problem. You looking forward to Greece? You been out there before? Never. Never. Okay. No. Not first time in Greece. Yeah, man. Right. We're gonna yeah. go to Athens and put our own torch up. Yeah. I'm gonna Fuck go to delicious. Greece. I'm gonna go to Greece like the Athens. Oh, yeah. The right way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna steal my shit back. How many more? Okay. One. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Look here. I just wanna say keep your heads up, eyes open, fist clenched. You know what I'm saying? You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. You know, this is big M1 holding it down with my comrade right here. This homie right here, RBG for Lizzy, Lizzy, POW. Straight up. Look out for the album. Yeah man. Now, I, I call it an album. And look out for all these projects. A race against time. Yeah, that's a mixed POWs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like we moving like we're almost on ten thousand in the street, um, close to eight right now. Um, this this is this legacy right here. Um, look for the new shit though. I got a triple A threat from Atlanta through at from Alabama through Atlanta straight to Africa. Right. Um, <laughs> watch for that. You know that's the new mixtape. You know what I'm saying? And the album is hopefully next year in the store.